Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to take you along for my um, first unflasking video. I have just received a Nepenthes email in the mail and yeah, quite excited about it. It um, is still in its agar, very little roots to it right now, but um, lots of leaves on it. It's a pretty good size I guess. Uh, this is a plant that for me anyways is pretty hard to come by. Um, there's a lot of emes out there that are not really emes, so hopefully this turns out to be um, legit. They claimed it was um, a real eme, not a cross, so I'm really hoping, and I'm happy to get my hands on this one anyways, the way it is. But yeah, I wanted to deflask this with you, and I just have some water in front of us to help with that, some media over there to help with that, and um, a fresh pot for it. So I just wanted to kind of un unflask it together and I also have a bag for afterwards for putting the pot in. Hopefully that doesn't get too lost. Yeah, so I mean really things we have to worry about here, the big one is dehydration. This plant as you can see is growing in 100% humidity, it's very sealed, it's very sterile and it is not used to any kind of lack of humidity at all. So it'll be very important to keep it in a bag for the first few weeks anyways and slowly let it adjust after that. Uh, it's also probably never had any nighttime drops in temperature, which I think it will enjoy. This is a highland plant, so it does like a little bit of a, a reduced temperature. Maybe it did. I'll have to be careful in the daytime with it in a bag. No direct sunlight because it will make the bag get way too hot. Um, and yeah, so I'm just hoping that this is just going to untape. Oh, that was super easy. So it just untaped like that. And... Like I say, I've never done any Nepenthe flasking before. I don't know what is involved in it. But um, there's a plant from this view here. But I'm just hoping that it um, comes out of this pretty easily. Let's hope it does. So I thought instead of pulling the plant out, I'm going to try to, to wash out some of the, the mix there. So I'm just going to put that in. Give it a second in there. I have a nice pair of tweezers just off camera to help with if I need it, but I don't know how fast this stuff is going to to dissolve. Maybe it'll be really fast, maybe it won't be. But I'll give it a little shake with water. So far, not much is happening to that um, at all. Not much at all. So, hmm. I was hoping it was just going to um, come right out, but I'm going to use the um, flat end of... Now we got something happening. The flat end of the tweezers there. You can see my tweezers are very flat on that end. Very, very pointy on that end. And I'm just going to remove it that way. Oh yeah, now it popped right out. And let's see if it'll come out now. Hmm. Still stuck. Hold on one sec. Okay, let's continue on here. We'll try not to um, have this going for too long. So it has shown that it's um, loosening in there anyways. There we go. Should just fall right out now. Now it doesn't have any roots and really um, I wasn't too surprised by that. There we go, the, the gel is just gone now, it's just melting away. The gel is very, very nutritious, and when something is growing in something that nutritious and that sterile, it doesn't have a whole lot of use for roots. So, I'm just going to let it float in the water there for a few minutes. This is just lukewarm water, TDS in there is about 20, 25. And why don't I show you the mix I'm going to use to put this guy in. So it's mainly sphagnum. I chopped it up a little bit finer than I normally would. There's a mix of perlite in there, some fine orchid bark, and a touch of charcoal. I usually don't use charcoal, but I thought in this case I would. So, let's fill up the pot. And there's not going to be a whole lot to this, because there is no roots to plant. I think I'll take this over to the sink and give it a bit of a watering ahead of time. So you guys can just look at my little plant there, admire it, 
enjoy it. I'm walking to the sink. Nothing much you got to see here. Get to the media, good and soppy wet. Now I cut it a little bit finer, the media, because I did want good contact with all of the, we're going to call it a root ball, so hopefully it sends down some, some good roots. I also want to make sure I bury it up to um, where the green leaves are, right about here. And then put it in the bag, so let's switch that out. And you can have a look there. I am going to preemptively make a little hole, remove anything too big from that hole, and go in there like so, and sit that guy in there. So the root is very delicate. I do not want to touch the root whatsoever. If that was to break, that's um, going to be a very hard recovery. I always grab from like a leaf. I don't use the tweezers to grab it. I can't tell how hard I'm grabbing, so I try to use my fingers wherever possible. And then I'm going to even backfill with my fingers here as well. There we go. So I'm assuming it has no pitchers on it because, again, pitchers are for nutrients purposes. And it doesn't need any nutrients because it is in the highly nutritious um, solution there, the gel. So... There we go. I'm going to pay close attention to make sure it's right at the right level here. Make sure everything's nicely touching there. Um, you'd be surprised how often I go through my little plants like this and I will literally move little specks of sphagnum. Not big chunks like this, but like little tiny, tiny pieces of sphagnum moss to make sure everything is just like perfectly in place just like so. So I guess that's going to be um, all we can do for this guy. I need to make up a tag, which I didn't um, bring out ahead of time, so I'll have to do that. The other thing that I am doing right now is getting a clean bag for this guy, because he's going to be living in a bag for a while. So hopefully he's going to make an easy adjustment. I've had Nepenthes with smaller little root nubs than that before make complete recovery so I'm not too worried about that at all and I always go to um, the dollar store and buy like hair clips because they make good little bag clips and orchid clips and stuff like that and clip that guy closed there we go I was looking online earlier and yeah I will keep you updated on this guy hopefully you'll see him unbagged soon but um, not too soon and I'm hoping for some nice pictures on him on him fairly soon as well. I would love it if the next leaf just like poof grew a picture, but not really expecting that. So anyways, that is unbagging and potting up my Nepenthes out of tissue culture. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, updates on this plant and others, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.